Hello everybody. So back here with another video. So this morning before work, um, I went to a yard sale and I'd seen it posted. Actually, one of my friends forwarded it to me. Um, but it was supposed to start at 8. Because of the rain, it was supposed to start at 9. I had to be at work at 8.30. So I got lucky that the guy <laughs> hadn't set up anything. And um, he was coming back from Walmart from buying stickers on the day of the, of the garage sale to actually price stuff, which is... Rookie mistake if you've ever had a garage sale you get everything priced the night before because people will start showing up But like like I did I was there at Seven o'clock and the sale wasn't supposed to start till nine luckily uh, He let me in and let me get first pick at the Ninja Turtles that I wanted uh, He had a bunch of other stuff, but I took I I honestly didn't expect him to have much that I wanted and I figured it was going to be overpriced because you know how some of these places are when they advertise garage sale with action figures, video games and stuff. You never know. Anyway, so, um, bought, uh, what I buy? Four vehicles, 23 figures, and two big bags of weapons, uh, for 60 bucks. So it ends up, the bag of weapons, he wanted 10 bucks a bag. So that means that each of the figures and vehicles cost me about a dollar fifty a piece if I doing the math right, or if I yeah should be about that. Um yeah, so yeah because I have twenty three twenty seven so twenty seven divided by forty, so about a buck forty eight forty nine something like that. Um so first up, and the title of this video is probably gonna be something like Ninja Turtles. Mega Hall or something like that. Um, all of these things are extremely dirty, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of time uh, cleaning these things up. But this is the Ninja Turtle Turtle Mobile. I already have one of these, and this one's probably in rougher shape than mine. But this piece is supposed to actually pop out. And as you can see, it is wedged in here. Um, but my piece, mine is missing this. Now this one is missing the cap here and the cap on top, but for a dollar fifty, I'm fine with it. I will probably uh, disassemble this whole thing because the stickers are in okay shape. If I can save the stickers, I will. But I'm going to disassemble this whole thing and re-chrome all that I can re-chrome. If I have to buy new stickers for this, I will. Um, but yeah, it needs a complete restoration on it, so I may end up having to pull all these stickers off and redoing it, but. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but I'm like, I can already see stickers starting to peel, so I might even be able to salvage some of these stickers if I do it right. So we'll see. We will see. Um, but yeah, it definitely needs uh, cleaned up. Like all of this stuff I'm getting ready to show you is. So next up, I got the Turtle Cruiser. Uh, this is the Turtle Sand Cruiser Hummer thingy. Uh, which is a really lame toy. Um, and it's missing, I want to say there's like some poles that's supposed to be up here and here maybe and here. And there's a piece missing here and one maybe missing on this side. I don't know. I've never owned this, but it's kind of lame because you'd expect this thing to open up or do something. But I don't even think it like fired a missile or anything. Like uh, one of the worst Ninja Turtle toys ever. Like I think it made like a noise. So it sounded like I was shooting. But you could only put one figure on it, really, and the others could hang off the side if they wanted to. But, yeah, uh, the, probably one of the, the worst Ninja Turtle vehicles that they ever made, just because if the, if the cockpit opened up and you could put a figure in there, that would have been better. But it really doesn't do anything, except for make a noise. Like, yeah. Um, I guess I am missing one of these to go on this side, too. Anyway... It's one I didn't have, so now I do. And this one, I had it as a kid. I've been really wanting to get it. Um, and for $1.50, why not? Seems like for the most part it's there, uh, except for uh, this hose is broken. And I think there was another uh, hose that went right here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, something went right there. And it's missing the toast that's supposed to fit on this side. And it's supposed to push in there and you spring the toast off. But the peg is broken. So I'll probably end up having to find a new one of these eventually. 
but for a dollar fifty, uh, I didn't have it, and figured it's a good placeholder until I get can get one. And because I got to the sale early, I didn't spend a whole lot of time looking at this stuff. Like I literally, I left behind a lot of stuff I shouldn't have, but I had to put some back because he basically told me like the price, and I was like, eh, I did not bring enough money. I took sixty bucks. That was it. I wasn't gonna go over that. And so I was like, literally like putting back figure after figure, like, oh, okay, is this enough? Nope. Is this enough? Nope. Anyway, the two, the main thing I wanted was, um, there was a couple figures I wanted and a, the bags of weapons, which I, like I said, I wish I would have grabbed a couple more figures or I know for sure I left a troll figure that I didn't have and a couple others, but I, one, there were some good figures in this bunch. So I was hoping that I would get enough figures to cover the cost of some of the other figures. So I'm hoping to, which I hate doing, I don't like selling figures, but any of you guys know that it's been doing this for a while, if you start amassing a collection, eventually you get doubles and you have to sell it. So I'm hoping that I at least got enough to where I can at least cover what I spent on this, which I think I did, but we'll see. Let me show you what I got. Uh, I, oh yeah, the fourth vehicle I picked up is the Toxic Crusader um crusader skater crusader skateboard something like that um I don't, I, I don't know what that is actually is supposed to do because it's not making anything like spin it's just making noise so um i don't know i'm guessing there was some slime that's supposed to go in here um but anyway uh real cool bright colors uh, it does have one of the guns on it. Uh, it doesn't have the other one. And I think that's it. There may be like a flag or something that's supposed to go back here, but I'm not sure. But either way, I'm very happy to have that to go with my Toxic Crusader collection. And let's see. Well, we're just, we'll grab some figures here. Um, so I picked up another half court, which if this one's in, this one may be in better condition than my loose one. I'll have to check. Actually, I can see from here. It kind of looks like it's in better condition. Maybe. I don't know. It needs to be cleaned. We'll see. So, but that's a second half court. So, um, he's probably somewhere between... I've seen him sell up to 30, but I'm definitely not going to try to get 30 for him. Um, but usually he's a $10 to $20 figure. Um, both of these I have... So we'll see which ones are better in my collection. I know the one I just got of this guy a couple weeks ago was pretty dirty. So we'll see which one's cleaner. And I know this one's joints are a lot stiffer and better. So, um, yeah, he may end up being the one I keep after he's cleaned up. Uh, but those guys, like I said, I've already got doubles of. So uh, both of those are about $10 figures. Picked up a second sandstorm. Uh, I want to say he can he can go up to twenty bucks. I've seen him sell for thirty, but I, again, I'm not going to try to rip anyone off. I'm just trying to get a little bit of my money back. So uh, he'll be another one that's going to be in the sale pile. Uh, same way with the werewolf Leonardo, which man, his legs are really loose. So I hope he doesn't break. Um, but I've already got one of him. Yeah, I don't see how you can even fix him. It looks like they're actually broken. So I don't think there is a way to fix him without super gluing him. So, yeah. He'd be a good stand-in for somebody. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to look over all these figures and make sure that they're complete or missing parts or anything. Uh, so I got Razar and there's this Toka. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where's your little head? Oh, it's inside there. I can see it. Um, but I think he's supposed to have a tail that clips on right here. Um, Either way, he's going to stay probably like this on the shelf. So. <coughs> but this is one I didn't have. 
So he's going to stay with the keeper pile. Then picked up a high head. Again, he's probably a $10 to $20 figure. And then I picked up one of these uh, like night mutations or something like that. I really like the head sculpt on this rock steady. Um, he's got the pieces for underneath his feet that are always missing. So, yeah. Uh, happy I got this guy, though. What's cool is it, it, his leg kicks out and then all his armor would pop out like spring loaded. So that's kind of cool. So he's another one. So, so far, there's only two of them out here that I'm keeping. There's not a whole lot that I'm actually keeping out of this lot. Uh, this is one I will be keeping. Uh, I already got all the weapons for him. Uh, so I'm one away from having all these sewer spitters. I think I still am missing... Um, is this the last one? Michelangelo. I don't have a Michelangelo. I have a Donnie, a Leo, and now a Raph, and I'm pretty sure he's complete. And then I picked up a Savage Leo figure. And he's another extra, so he's another $10 figure. And then I picked up a uh, Scout Raphael. Uh, this is one I did need. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find the weapons for him. So, finally up to four figures that I'm going to end up keeping. And Donatello. This is the vampire Donatello. Um, so, he'll go with the Wolfman. And they're usually 15 to 20 bucks each. And that will go with the Michelangelo, because I've already got one of him. So, uh, usually the three of those go for around 50 bucks, Something like that. Um... Then I picked up this uh, Pilot Don, and I can't remember. They always show pictures of him with the, bo the bubble bomber, but I can't remember if he goes with that or if he goes with one of the like the telephone rider backpack thingies. Um, but I'm pretty sure it goes with the bubble bomber, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look up what he goes with exactly. Uh, actually, let me do that because I'm just kind of curious. And I don't think I have any picture of it. Yeah, he goes with... I don't know if you can really see it, but he goes with that backpack. So he goes... Does go with one of the backpack thingies. Um, yeah. So next up... One I didn't have... Is this... Uh, uh, hippie jamming looking... Uh, Mondo Gecko... Uh, I'm thinking he's supposed to look like uh, Jimi Hendrix. And he's got a little microphone on his tail. He's pretty cool. Um, he'll go with the rest of the Ninja Troll musician figure thingies. Or, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And then I picked up another Vern. And he really needs a bath real bad. But he is a pretty hard to find figure uh, in this shape. If he had any accessories, he'd be worth quite a bit, you know, 50 bucks or so, which not really quite a bit, but Ninja Turtle World, 50 bucks is quite a bit. Um, but he should bring 20 bucks pretty easily, I would think, because he is very hard to find. Um, like I said, sometimes you got to spend money on this stuff and sell some to be able to afford to buy the rest of the stuff. Uh, this Raphael, I do not have. Um, so I thought I was going to have a full set of the, uh, universal monsters to sell, but I'm not. So I'm just going to have the three and this one is staying with me, but he goes with my set. So now I have a full set, which I'm pretty happy about. And then I've got a wit from the turtles three movie. He only came with a catapult. It's not an expensive figure. You can probably pick him up for three or four bucks. Uh, but he is kind of rare, like, Pretty hard to find. You don't see him very often out in the wild. Uh, because he was only released with a box set with a catapult. And a lot of people like to call him Casey Jones. Because he actually came with a Casey Jones mask and I think a hockey stick. Even though he's technically not Casey Jones. He just looks like Casey Jones. Then I picked up... Uh, mutating April O'Neil. And I didn't check to see if she had... Yeah, she's got the little cheetah head. 
still in there. And I'm guessing her arms are okay, so I'm not going to mess with looking at that. Um, until I get a chance to wash her and kind of loosen up some of the joints. Um, these I'm not a big fan of washing because they have metal pins in them. But this one definitely needs wash, so and it's not going to rust any more than what it already has. So, But that one is one that I don't have, so it's going to stay with me. Um, then I got uh, this Raphael that I've already got, but he's another one that's hard to find. And he will actually go with the uh, Bebop and Rocksteady that's kind of in that same series. Then, and I may already have already gotten this guy a while back, but I can't remember. I don't think I did. I think I passed on it. But this is the mutating Leonardo that transforms into transforms into a fire truck somehow. And he may be missing parts. I really don't know because I don't really see. Um, yeah, I don't see any other wheels anywhere inside here. Uh, yeah, maybe there's a set hidden in there. There might be a set hidden. But yeah, this is one of the... Uh, it's supposed to transform. Um, not my favorite. I don't really like those, but since I'm trying to get a complete set of these turtles, I need it. And this is the Ro the racing Donatello transforms into like a little race car kind of thing. Um, again, I don't see... The second set of wheels so he is obviously missing something because there's no place for wheels to hide on this one so but he does have two arms and two legs so hopefully uh, he'll at least I'll be at least able to get him to stand up I've never owned any of these because like I said I'm not a big fan of those um, the keeper pile is not nearly as nice as the pile of stuff I'm getting rid of which kind of sucks you know, it would have been nice to have had some rare figures to bring home that I didn't have. Um, but when you get a collection that starts to get up there in size, that's kind of what happens. And then I picked up this um, Toxic Crusader. It's a uh, one of the Ranger figures, and it's the last figure I needed to complete my set. So now I've got a complete set of Toxic Crusader figures. I just don't have any of the weapons, which... They are very expensive for the weapons on these things. Um, but I'm happy to have that guy. Because I had him when I was a kid and I always thought he was a really cool figure. And he did always stand in with my Ninja Turtles. So, um, Like I said, I passed on a lot of figures that I shouldn't have. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to move. Actually, give me one second. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Alright, so next up is, if you don't care about Ninja Turtle weapons, you're probably not going to like this. Actually, there's probably a lot more than Ninja, Ninja Turtle weapons in here. But let's look. So, we got Donatello with a broken arm, so that's garbage. And a Michelangelo belt that needs washed. And an axe that I have no idea where it goes to, but it's not Ninja Turtles, I don't believe. And then another Leonardo belt and Donatello belt that's broken, so that's kind of worthless. Uh, this goes to one of the pop up head Raphaels. This whip goes to Saints Scale Tail. Scale Tail, yeah. Um, then I got a broken Leonardo sword and a belt. I don't believe that that goes to any Ninja Turtle. And another belt. This one. Uh, this either goes to Monte Moose or the Leonardo. Well, uh, it's got to be a Monte, Monte Moose belt. And then this one goes to the Pizza Throwing Leonardo. And another belt for Leonardo. Missing. Nope. This is not a missing one. So this must be for a different Leonardo. We'll have to, I'll have to figure out which one that one is. And then this is the dive belt for the scuba Michelangelo. And Casey Jones uh, putting iron. And this one goes to Rock and Roll Raph, I believe. And that's a slash weapon, or actually they use this weapon with a bunch of other figures. So it could be a troll turtle. Uh, this one, 
I don't know. I've never seen this weapon before, so I don't know if it's a Ninja Turtle weapon or not. Um, that was broken. Another putting thing for Casey Jones. And then a hook for the Ninja Turtles. And then a bunch of bombs that are really dirty. Uh, three for the... Um, uh, turtle van or blimp and the second one is for the blimp 2 I believe this one so it's actually got the turtle face on it then this one I believe goes to the wolfman um, Leonardo but they also made it for one of the troll turtles too I think troll Leonardo had that <laughs> oh these figures are so dirty that it's making me sneeze this sword I would assume is a ninja turtle weapon but I've never seen it before so I don't know which one it would go to. Uh, this goes to all of the Cyber Turtles had one of these. So that goes to the Cyber Turtle. Um, this little weapon goes to the Creepy Crawly Splinter. And I want to say that this side goes to... Um, I think that's part of the actual sewer skateboard. The second one that had pink all over it. And this sword... Again, no ID on that one. So it's going to go over here in my unknown pile. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So you're going to go over here too. And this little weapon, I have no idea. And this one, I want to say that this goes to one of the robot Rocksteady or Bebop figures. And this goes to one of the movie turtles. And... Toon Donatello, Mutation Leonardo, um, I can't remember which, that's one of the movie turtle, um, movie three size, I believe, for Raphael, uh, not a Ninja Turtle, and I have no idea what that one goes to, and this goes to, uh, one of the cave figures, I believe, and also a troll, same with this one, I think that goes to a troll. Um, this weapon I'm not sure of. I've not seen that, but I'm assuming that's a Ninja Turtle weapon. Possibly a troll. Not sure. <laughs> then I have no idea on this little guy. It kind of looks like something that would go to um, Dino Riders. So I'll have to find out about that. And this, this knife goes to... I want to say this is Chrome Domes. You can't really see it's not focusing, but... Chrome Dome's little knife. And then Usagi Ojimbo Sword. Or Pandacon. One of the two. I think it's Usagi. And here's Usagi's uh, spear. More hooks. More of the little brown weapons. Uh, this goes to a Michelangelo. And those look like baseball bats. I'm not sure. I'll have to find out whose weapon that is. Uh, Axe. This should go to one of the storage shell turtles. If I remember right. And more of the brown weapons and Casey Jones bat. More of the brown weapons. Uh, this one I have no idea. It looks like a Power Ranger sword. So I think that's a Power Ranger sword. And this I have no idea. And then this little knife I have no idea. Looks like a Power Ranger knife but or a Ninja Turtle knife but I really don't know. Um, then I got a fire extinguisher for the firefighting Don. Another couple of these little axe accessories. So here's one in red and one in orange. They reused them for multiple figures. I think this one went with the firefighting Raph or Don, if I remember right. And then this little spear piece, I want to say this goes for Dr. L, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So... I'm going to take these weapons right here that I don't 100% know who they belong to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Dino Riders. I'm about to check on that. Uh, yeah, those are the weapons I don't know 100% on. I'll just put it back in the bag. Like I said, if you don't like Ninja Turtles stuff, you probably don't care about the weapons portion of it. But 
I like going through them. It's fun. And I know this other bag has more than just Ninja Turtle weapons on it. Or at least I've seen a few that weren't Ninja Turtles. So that whole bag of stuff's definitely going to have to get washed. And looks like we got this bag here. So, got Casey Jones' backpack, and a mace for Super Shredder, and this is the foot flipper for, uh, it's either one of the Olympic Turtles or the Navy SEAL diving Michelangelo, and I got a TV for Vern, Burn. and there was a TV I want to say for Irma in here too, so those are pretty hard to find accessories. Not probably real expensive, but hard to find. Uh, this is the shield for Pizza Face. And this is the antenna for Don's carnival ride thing, but it is snapped off, so it's basically worthless. Then I got a pizza for the pizza thrower. And this is for um, Kravix, I think is his name. It's one of the visionaries. So that is not Ninja Turtle related. Uh, this thing, no clue. Not seen that before. Uh, then Brown Bow, Ninja Turtle. Uh, this thing, I want to say, goes to a Batman figure, but I'm not sure. I had this when I was a kid. I can't remember what figure it went to, though. Uh, this is a crossbow. I want to say this is probably going to be a He-Man thing. I would assume. That's a He-Man thing. And I've got these two parts that should both go to the uh, sewer skate thing. And a little tiny car that has nothing to do with this stuff. And then this, um, you know, I'm not sure which Ninja Turtle this one goes to. I know it goes to one, but I just can't remember which one it was. Uh, then a shield, and I have no idea what the hell this thing is. Uh, Michelangelo wacky spin thingy and handcuffs for either Leo or Monty Moose. I think it's a Monty Moose handcuffs. A bow for the movie star Shredder or the arrows. Another Shredder mace. A baseball bat that doesn't go to Ninja Turtles if I remember right. And a sword. I have no idea. I'm assuming that's a He-Man sword. A Skeletor sword because I think there's two of them and that might be for the 2003 line. I don't know. And then this thing goes to, um, oh, it's similar to the uh, Visionary Centurions, or, no, not Centurions. I don't know, but these two pieces go together. They go to the same line. Supernaturals, that's what it was, Supernaturals. I don't know if they go to the same figure, but I know they're part of the same line. And this thing is an eight ball. It's supposed to go on one of the that giant Ninja Turtle B. And this looks like a Power Ranger Sword Saba for the White Ranger, maybe. <coughs> then this goes to uh, Scout Raphael. And I want to say this is the Wolfman uh, Universal Monsters figure. And then a spear. For, I think, Dr. L and a sword for mutating Leo. And, uh, I don't know what figure that goes to. I first thought Nontello, but I don't know. Possibly. I got this little pizza thing here that goes to one of the head popping turtles. And uh, another disc for the pizza shooter. Another bomb. Another bomb. Uh, part for the turtle helicopter. Um, a big freaking knife that I don't know what that goes to. And another belt. And a staff. And I want to say this one goes to one of the uh, the Cyber Donatello. And then this goes to one of the... Um, oh, I can't remember what figure this one freaking goes to. But one of the soldier figures, if I remember right. And then a little lizard that doesn't belong... And this mace that goes to either a cave turtle or 
several other figures that they made it for, and then another brown rep weapon, and a pizza, a chrome dome weapon, and this, I have no clue, so if you can help me out with this, I have no idea, it looks like it clips into a backpack for a figure, and then I've got a soccer volleyball thing that goes to the beach sewer spitting turtle figures, and then a nasty communicator that's in worse shape than mine, so that is it, I'm done. I'm going to put all this stuff away, and I was talking too long. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.